Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this morning's recipe, we're gonna make slow cooker salsa verde steak. So all you need is you just need one package of um, already pre-made uh, steak with, this has peppers and onions in it and some rice in it. So the first thing we're gonna do before we start, before we start putting the, um, before we start putting the lunch in the slow cooker, we're gonna spray. Now, um, I tell you guys this every time when we do the slow cooker. We spray the crock pot. The reason why we spray, we spray for easy cleanup, okay? Easier for when you go to clean it up. So you give it a good spray. And then what you're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in our slow cooker. And if you guys, uh, remember, we've done, we've kind of done lunch crock pot videos before, but it's been such a long time, so I wanted to share this recipe with you guys. So, <clears throat> all we're going to do, excuse me, is we're going to put this in our slow cooker, and this is going to cook on low for four hours, so it's literally just going to be in the crock pot on low for four hours. Now, everybody, every one of you guys have requested that I make a slow cooker salsa verde steak. Essentially what this is going to end up being is it's going to be slow cooked uh, steak with peppers and onions and rice and then there's a there's some salsa verde in it too. It's going to be so good. So all of you guys out there, and I'm especially making this for my co-workers and for John Hopkins because you know, I work at John Hopkins now. You guys see this? Look, look at this. See that? So we're making this video for them. So all we're going to do is we're going to put this in the slow cooker and this is going to cook on low for four hours. Um, this does have salsa verde in it, and I'm really, I'm really excited to try this meal because this meal is actually, uh, a little bit new to me because I've never actually had salsa verde steak before. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead. Now this has seasoning in it, but if you've known me for quite a while, you guys know I love to add salt and pepper. So we're not adding a lot of salt and pepper because, um, just because of the, uh, the salsa verde does have salt in it and everything else is has salt so we don't want to add too much salt because what happens is if we add a lot of salt to our dish it's just going to make it um uh too salty and you can't go back on that um it's like i always say it's always good to under season your food than to over season it, right because you can't go back once you over season it with salt then you, you just there's no going back to your stuff so what we're going to do now is we're going to give this a stir and this I thought out last night in the fridge, and it's still pretty frozen, but that's okay because once this gets cooking in the slow cooker, then this will thaw out um, instantly, and it'll it's gonna taste even better, okay? Now, I did add some salt and pepper, and there's no need to add any additional salt because, like I said, this does have salt in it already, but I just wanted to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on, we're gonna cook this on low for four hours and then we will come back and we'll show you what our slow cooker salsa verde steak looks like. So, cover it, lint on, four hours on low. We'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe and we'll be back in a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, walk on. Peace out. Boom, okay, bye guys.